Welcome to Books and Storytime by MyBookSummary.com. Let's explore. The Forgotten House. In a small village, surrounded by tall trees and a clear river, there lived a girl named Lena. She had two older brothers, Erif and Zane. Erif was brave and always protected his sister, while Zane was kind and always guided her. Every morning, the three of them would walk through the forest. They loved talking, laughing, and dreaming about the future. The forest was full of hidden paths and secrets. One day, they found a small path they had never seen before, covered with vines and leaves. Lena, being curious, wanted to explore, and her brothers agreed. As they followed the path, it led them deeper into the forest. The trees became taller, blocking out the sunlight, and the forest became strangely quiet. After walking for a while, they found an old house hidden among the trees. The windows were broken, and the door hung loose on its hinges. It seemed like no one had lived there for many years. Lena felt a chill but didn't show her fear to her brothers. Erif pushed the door open, and they stepped inside. The house was cold, dark, and full of dust. It smelled old and forgotten. But there was something else, a feeling, as if they weren't alone. As they explored the house, they found old furniture, broken toys, and books scattered on the floor. In one room, Lena saw a small dusty mirror. When she wiped the dust away, she saw something strange, her reflection, but also a shadowy figure standing behind her. She turned around quickly, but no one was there. Her brothers tried to comfort her, saying it was just her imagination. They decided to leave, but as they were about to go, they heard a soft crying sound. It was coming from upstairs. Though scared, they walked up the stairs. At the end of the hall, there was a room with a door slightly open. Erif pushed it, and inside they found an old doll lying on a small bed, tears on its face. Lena felt a deep sadness as she picked up the doll. The crying stopped, but the sadness in the air remained. She didn't know why, but she felt connected to the doll, as if it belonged to her. Erif gently took the doll from Lena and placed it back on the bed, and they all hurried out of the house. That night, Lena couldn't sleep. She kept thinking about the shadow in the mirror and the crying doll. The next day, she told her brothers that she wanted to return to the house. Though they didn't want to go back, they agreed because they couldn't leave her alone. When they reached the house again, Lena picked up the doll. As soon as she touched it, memories flooded her mind. She remembered being a little girl, playing with the doll in that very house. She saw her mother's smiling face, and her brothers laughing with her. Then she remembered the house catching fire, her mother trying to protect her, and her brothers pulling her away from the flames. The house they had visited was their childhood home, lost to a fire when they were little. The doll was a gift from their mother, the only thing that survived the fire. Tears filled Lena's eyes as she realized the house had been waiting for them, holding on to their forgotten memories. Though the past was painful, they had each other, and that made them strong. They left the house that day, but this time they carried their memories with them, knowing they would never forget. As they walked home, Lena felt peace in her heart. She knew that no matter what, she would always have her brothers. They were her family, her strength, and together, they could face anything. Stay tuned for more enlightening content. Head over to www.mybooksummary.com. Don't forget to subscribe and share the magic with friends. And let's grow together through the power of books and interesting stories.